Alright, so we've got the shield that I've been anxiously waiting for. This is probably the um, shield I've wanted to build for the longest time. First batch, I made a mistake in the uh, PCB, but uh, these ones turned out really great. So what we have is a TLC, uh, TLC 5940 shield. It's got uh, two TLCs on it for a total of 32 uh, PWM outputs. Now you'll see here if we can get it. Okay, so we've got uh, just standard jumpers. These are actually going to be 90 degree ones uh, so we can stack uh, multiple shields on top of each other. Uh, but we also have, so these four, they're not, all the resistors aren't in because I don't have all of the right values. But uh, <clears throat> you can choose from four different currents on the uh, shield. So we've got the 2K, which is uh, 20 milliamp. Uh, we've got a 1K, which gives you roughly, well, it's actually about 39 point something milliamps. Uh, we've got a 500, which gives you uh, 80 milliamps, and then a 320, which gives you the full 120 milliamps. And then there's this jumper. Uh, right here allows you to select uh, which one you want to use. So I think that's really cool. I have it set on 40 milliamps right now, um, mostly because I don't have uh, 2K resistors on me right now. <clears throat> so we've got the uh, two outputs here, and if you'll notice, uh, we've got two selectable ones. So you, you select each one can actually output different currents. Uh, so this one goes to this TLC and these resistors control this TLC. So you could actually have one put out 20 milliamps and one put out 120 if you want. Uh, one of the limitations right now is uh, the Arduino can only put out 1.5 amps. So you would be limited if you were um, doing the 120 milliamps. So I haven't found a way around that yet. I'll probably include maybe a voltage regulator on another revision. Now the other thing is TLC 5940s can be daisy chained. And if you'll notice right here, you'll see, I'll just take this jumper, and you'll see SN and ARD. So that's the Arduino uh, output and that's SN on uh, I guess that TLC, that's the number one one. Um, so basically whichever shield you're using as the master shield, as we'll call it, so the one that you're using is the Arduino uh, input, you just jumper that, okay? The other thing is we also have S out pinned out. So these two are daisy chained right now, but if you wanted to stack another shield on top, you would just stack another shield on top, you would take a jumper, so just a regular jumper cable, um, from S out and just jump it to the next shields S in and there you go you have four TLC's uh, I don't know how many shields you could jumper together I know you can do something like 640 devices um, but you would run into the Arduino being able to power all of them so but we'll, uh, we'll probably get around that in another release so I just wanted to demo it so we're just going to put it on an Arduino which is loaded with uh, one of the example sketches from the uh, TLC 5940 library. Okay, so we'll negative and positive. And we're just going to demonstrate uh, that both of them can fade. Uh, So we'll just put two on right now, and we'll hook some power up. Okay, so, oops, what did I do here? Oh, there we go. Okay, so we've got uh, one of them fading. One of them might have a, one of them had a bad LED, so we'll just fix that. Um, So as you can see, the one on the bottom is fading. This is just one of the uh, demo sketches. I can't have had a bunch of bad LEDs. Maybe I just have it in backwards.
We'll get this to work, I swear. It's always when you're filming a video that it doesn't want to work. So the cool thing about this is like you could do a maybe a fading LED cube. That would be uh, interesting. Oh, there we go. This one works now. So you can see one. So both of them, both of the 32 outputs are working. Uh, the next thing is to kind of do some cool stuff with it. Um, maybe multiplex a bunch of them. My girlfriend actually has a whole bunch of ideas on useful applications for this. So we'll uh, we'll have to see what comes up with it. But. Uh, I'll have a full tutorial on the site as well as uh, schematics, uh, the Eagle CAD files, all of that, um, as well as how to daisy chain them together. So just stay posted.